My friends, I'm doing this video just kind of for a friend uh, who wants to know what to do with their Insta360 video. He's gotten the same camera that I do. He's trying to use the plugins in Premiere uh, and having some trouble. And I've had some trouble with that too. Maybe we've just not, either one of us figured it out. But I told him what I like to do is uh, just bring it into the Insta Studio, uh, 360 Studio uh, program. And so th this is not going to be a a comprehensive uh, tutorial, at least just to get you started type thing. As you see here on my uh, on my camera are the files. I think I might have already copied them over, however, to my shield here. Uh, drive. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and import these. Now, you'll see when this thing comes up and you open up the uh, little disk SD card that you have the LRV files. Those are just linked up files so you can preview and everything from the from the camera itself. I don't ever download those. There's just no need to. I end up throwing them away. But these, we want to definitely open this file because we just do plus here, I think. So loading the gyro data. Uh, so, okay, it says our free Adobe Premiere Pro plugin files straight off of your camera. Da, 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 da. Play it. You know, I could say he's having trouble with it. I'm having trouble with it too. I'll say got it, understood. Uh, it does bring up a tutorial here, which I tried to follow. I just had trouble getting it to function well and look the way I wanted it to in Premiere. So, I'm going to show you the way that I do this here with uh, just the Insta360. Then I can export it and go back out to Premiere. So as you see, we've got the spherical video. This is the really nice, it looks great. It's 8K video that uh, I was walking around with my buddy Lee Setzer, who from time to time we do uh, little video collaborations together. Cool. Go ahead and hit play. Okay. So what I really want to do is create a timeline here. I'm going to go to project and I'm going to say uh, new project. We're generating that project now. That's going to give me the option for a timeline. Oh, do I have to hit plus here? I guess I do. Okay, 16-9 ratio. So I'm going to call this uh, test in hickory. So we're in hickory, North Carolina. I'm going to change the location of that naturally to over where that was. Camera test and we'll say open. And we'll 16-9 uh, is what we want. 30 frames per second. I don't need a proxy. No, I need no proxies at all for this. Now, this is interesting. Uh, it should cancel. It should let me do 24 frames per second because 24 frames is what I shot in. However, it's showing it grayed out and why I do not know. I'm going to go ahead and hit confirm. I've done this before and it's not looked bad at all. Okay, so now I'm in the uh, Insta360 uh, timeline, which will allow me to. Uh, to edit this video and I have to decide what do I want to see first well it's not bad this of Lee, me and Lee I'm gonna do a command K that adds this little yellow t uh, keyframe here that way I know for sure that that's going to be my first view in this thing it can't get screwed up now along about here I'm gonna put another keyframe in command K and then I'm gonna let it go forward a little bit hit play again and I'm gonna stop right here put another keyframe in command K is what it does this. I'm using a MacBook Pro. And that gives it about a half second for me to spin over here where we're seeing a little bit of the town. So let's go back and let's review what I've done here. So I'm going to hit play. Here we go. They're walking, walking, walking. I'm hitting the keyframe. It's just a positional one there. We spin around a little bit. And you know, let's say that's pretty good for a little ways. Now I'm going to put another Command K in. And I'm going to go forward a little bit more. And now I'm going to go back over this way, maybe toward more where the bridge and the cars are. And so now I should be able to hit Command K again. And it should work for that uh, particular view. Let's try it and see. Interview Lee, I'm shooting with the Insta360. It goes back over where the cars are. See? Like totally okay, we're going, going. So what I do, I put a keyframe in at the beginning, the end, and also allow a little bit of time for transition. I'm going to pause here, put another Command K in, Command K for keyframe, and now I'm going to go forward about another half second, and let's spin back around toward me and Lee. So I'm going to do another Command K, and this Command K or a keyframe is going to come back around this way, and it's going to uh, center in on me and Lee walking. So now we've got. 
kind of a cool little thing going here. Let's check and make sure those keyframes work. So we're looking at the parking lot and everything. We should have about a half second spin around before we leave again. And there it goes. Now see, that that's the cool thing about these Insta360 cameras is you can just do this all day long. Command K again. Let's say I want to look back over my shoulder to the right over there at the bridge. I can see the bridge. and Let's see what else is over there. I don't even know, but I'm going to go forward a little bit more. And now I'm going to do another Command K. And I'm going to pull back over this way. Okay, we're getting close to the uh, to one of the monument things there. So now that should work. Let's check that out. We're walking. And I spin back to the, the right. The and there here. we're looking at the uh, kind of artillery. I can do a Command K again. Move forward a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Let's put another Command K. And let's pan around and look at the, at the downtown again. And I hit play uh, again. Grandchildren. Yeah. I can do another Command K. Yeah. <laughs> another Command K. And turn it to me and Lee again. And there we are again. A couple dorks walking around uh, Hickory. And here's the kind of well, thing that we end up with. What's going on in your world, Lee? Anything cool? Uh, look at the town. Grandchildren. Spin back yeah. around and look yeah. at me and Lee. And then we can export this. This I actually exported as 4K video. I'll go ahead and close this little bit up here. We did go into the music store. I am curious. I want to see how it looks in low light. So let's pull. This is a, I say low light. It's much lower light than it was outside. And it looks pretty dang great. So this is inside Larry's, uh, Larry's Music in downtown Hickory. I'm going to go grab the end of this again so I can just kind of pull it. And it automatically kind of ripple deletes everything. And so again with this one, I need to set a keyframe. So I'm going to do Command K. Let's imagine this time we don't want to see, well, we could, we could still see me and Lee there standing and talking. And I'll do a, go forward a little bit, go forward, and we'll start talking about guitars. Let's do a Command K. And I'm going to do another Command K. And I'm going to, I'm, let's see, Command K. On this one, I'm going to turn back up here and we'll look at some guitars. Really cool. Old school. Excellent. Pretty cool. Do another Command K. This time maybe I just want to pan around a little bit. Right? Space. Uh, and I usually got about what, three or four guitars here. Another Command K. Let's say I really want to center on that Stratocaster, that good old Stratocaster. Various other things. Okay. Another Command K. And maybe this one I'll Command K again. And we'll spin back around to me and Lee looking at some more stuff there. And here again, this one, I need to make sure I get the uh, proper uh, aspect there. The D-warp is what I kind of like to use. So I think that's what I'm doing on all this, right? Or did it automatically go to that when I did that? This That would be a cool thing to find out. What is that one there? 16? What if I go Command K here and I go to Ultra? Does that change everything? To widen it out, let's find out. This is this is me learning a little bit too, folks. So let's see if we zoom in. It looks like that's and that is it going back 16? out? That's, looks like it does. It's like maybe it goes to the I ultra. I shot some I'm not sure. I'm still not sure if that's what it did. <laughs> Command K again. And now let's decide what we want to look at here. Maybe we look back toward Larry and back toward the audix and all that mess there. And let's say that I do the D warp on this one. I guess that's what we want. That's pretty cool. So let's see if that is indeed what we got. That one's pretty to me. But yeah, I thought I'd, it I looks like it does. Outside. It definitely it does zoom and kind of zoom in. And so right here at this point, Command K. We'll do this, Command K again. And we can zoom back out. Let's go to mega wide now. And reframe that so that we're seeing this kind of deal here. And let's see what this looks like. I thought I'd, I shot some outside and zoom in. It's going to turn and it's going to zoom back out. Right. Oh, I, thought it, I don't think it did go to the Ultra or the Mega. Did it? Maybe it did. I don't know. I can't hardly tell. Command K again. And then this time, let's go back over this way. Command K. We're looking at this. What do you think of this? Command K. Let's turn back up here and look at these these guitars. Single. Command K. Maybe we'll spin it back around a little bit more. 
single pickup telecaster. Command K. Is that a P90? And this time let's go to the uh, now we know for sure that we've got the uh, the zoom in, right? Let's see, did it do that? I think it did. What do you think of the single I gave that from the other stuff catch for you? Single pickup telecaster. Is that a P90? It does do it. And command K. Let's go back down here. Command K. And let's go back to the Ultra, maybe. And Command K again. And so, folks, that's the way I edit with this. Now, once you've got what you want, you can go do your export, right? Over here's the export button up here on the top. And so, I usually do, I can make it that size. I like to make it uh, uh, 4K. And I wish it would let me change that, but it's not going to. Now, when I go to 4K, I like to get about 80 megs a second. I'm going to do 80. Let's let's say let's say 85. What the heck? It's a lot of data in 4K. And I like this AI fix remove grain. Some people may not like that, but I do. I think it, it works just great. And then here's where I can decide where it's going to go. If I want to make it go back to that folder, I could certainly do that. The Insta360 test. We'll say open. And I got everything here kind of the way I want it. And I'm going to say save, export. Now you could create presets even. That was one of the things that uh, I did yesterday. I actually shot a surgery with this yesterday and it was really cool. Uh, I was able to create presets for uh, the looks that I wanted, uh, the, the amount of zoom and everything that I wanted on it. And then I kept applying that preset to clips as I was going through that. Maybe that's for another video. Here again, the only thing I can't figure out is why is this grayed out when I'm pretty sure I shot these in uh, 8K24. Why is it automatically changing it to 30? It doesn't seem to hurt it to do that. Uh, I'm just going to give you a testimonial that it seems to be all right. So let's see. Let's see what happens when we when we export this. We'll speed this video up. Okay, so the file is exported. Let's open it in the folder and take a look at it. Here, test in Hickory, we called it. It's funny, it opens up in GoPro Player on my on my computer, even though they're a, uh, a competitor, right? So here it is rendered out. Look how nice that looks. Now this is bigger than 4K, what I'm showing you here. I actually am recording this at about 4,800 pixels. Uh, Wide. Let's Tets are downtown Hickory. And let's walk up this way before we're going to the guitar. Well, we like to go to Larry's. We have lunch once in a while. I'll just interview Lee. I'm shooting with the Insta360 360, 360 degree camera. It's like totally spherical, beautiful video. It's a gorgeous day here in Hickory, North Carolina. I've got it on a selfie stick about what would you say? So here are all the different moves. It's recorded. Looks pretty dang cool. Great job, Insta360. Sure I'm going to go ahead and post this video, a little tour that we did uh, on a separate video, but I thought you would find it interesting to see how this uh, all edits out. Let's go into the music store here and see how that looks. I'm curious how these zoom ins look. Three or four guitars here. So the 8K video is pretty much a game chaser, changer, I think. I mean, I realize you're not, you know, at any one particular moment, you're getting 4K as your top, maybe less than that, right? Because of the way it has to stitch together. Probably something more like like uh, 3K. But when you throw it back up there, it looks pretty nice. It's, it's easily usable. And maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it actually, maybe the, uh, the uh, merging together of it does result in 4K. So it's hard to believe that that's really it's pretty cool though. It's cool to be able to go to the wide warps and then close warps and what all else. Yeah, great store that Larry's got here. Well folks, that's it for this video. Hopefully this has been uh, interesting for people who want to know and I'm sharing it with my buddy. And so he'll get to see, you know, kind of what my workflow is for this. Now, I can pull naturally that video that I just rendered out there into Premiere and edit it in any way I want to. I can zoom it and crop it and whatever else in there. As a matter of fact, what I'm doing with the surgery video that I did, uh, I, I'm, I shot it like this 
and, and I picked the, I think I used the, I used to think I did use this D-Warp, or I might have used Ultra. And, and, and I think I used the Ultra. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I shot it in 4K, but I'm going to export my video, my surgery video in 1080p. And I'll probably just use the middle part here so we don't get so much fish eye on the outside. But there you go. Pretty awesome. The uh, new uh, Insta360 8K version. It's the Insta360 version 4. Peace to all who watch. Subscribe to the channel if you like.